Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is your stats. Your stats unreached stats now. So, Yoshi. Yeah. Quite a lot has happened uh, here in the States as far as uh, WWE goes. And the biggest news stems from Survivor Series War Games. Yeah. CM Punk made his WWE return. Yeah. Someone buys me dinner. Someone buys me dinner. I, I Someone... will buy I will, I will buy, buy Starbucks. <laughs> really? You... Damn, you so cheap. You so no, no. cheap. <laughs> no, I, I, didn't, I didn't know the correct story. <laughs> On 2014. So when Punk go fire from WWE. I didn't know the, yeah, the correct story. So it's not my fault. Now, yeah. now he's backtracking everything. This guy. <laughs> so, a few fans at home, there was a bet going on between Sean and Yoshi on if CM Punk would actually return to WWE. Mm. Sean won the bet. Hmm. Sean was the only one that could see Punk going back where Yoshi and I uh, were on the same page here. We did not see it, think it could be possible based on what had happened in the 2014 on how Punk was fired. But Yoshi, what do you think about CM Punk returning to WWE? Yeah, I was very surprised. And and uh, I think that is amazing. And when I thought when uh, he go fire in WWE 2014, I thought CM Punk and WWE sue each other about his like uh, how should I say English like this? Oh, because of his injury and all the all the stuff, right? So I thought they sue each other. Uh, that's why. So still the relation is bad. That's why I I thought Punk never returned to WWE. But I misunderstood. So WWE doctor sue CM Punk and the court Cabana. Not. Uh, not WWE didn't sue CM Punk. So, yeah, I misunderstood. So, it's it's good thing. Yeah, I was very surprised. But, but when he go fire, I know, when he go fire, uh, Punk insult uh, Vince and the Triple H, but they like speak speak ear of Vince McMahon and the Triple H. So, so I that's why I was surprised to return to WWE. So that means Triple H is smart. He's a businessman, so he didn't care what CM Punk said. Like a Talk, talk shit about uh, Vince and Triple H. He, he doesn't care. He's a businessman. If CM Punk has, like, a, he bring lots of money to WWE, just use him. So, I understand. Triple H is, yeah, smart. He's a businessman. I thought. Well, what do, uh, what, what do you think? What well, do you think, Lee? Well, after on the uh, media scrum, Triple H had said that CM Punk has talked about a lot and the fans wanted it. So if that's basically, if that's what the fans wanted, that's what the fans were getting is basically what he was saying. Uh, in the War Games media scrum after <clears throat> after the PLE, 
So I'm excited for it. I was watching it. And when I heard CM Punk's theme music hit, I jumped. I was laying down and I was laying down and I jumped and I was like fully standing up like that. I I fangirled. I (laughs) I fangirled. What did you think, Sean? Well, I I wasn't surprised. Um, but I think the way that they handled it, like they literally held it off until the very end. So Randy Orton's return will have time for the fans to sink in during the match. And then towards the end, boom, here we go. That's the surprise right there. Because everyone thought by that time, I mean, come on, it's the end of the show. You wouldn't have expected Punk would come out like that. And that's exactly what happened, and it did. And then everyone's reaction was insane. But to me, I'm looking at this like, okay, so Punk returning, obviously now, you know, he has to be the number one baby face in the company. What does that say for Cody Rhodes? It, it's yeah, it's my question here. Cody can't win. Uh, Punk is number one baby face, I think. No Cody Rhodes. Yeah, but when Punk, uh, when Cody came back, he became the number one baby face of the company. I mean, merch sales and everything was number one. So now that Punk is back, that Cody's position has to be shaken a bit. I think so. The hmm. Punk replaced Cody Rhodes place, I think. They can't be on the same show. That's what you have to they, do. Yeah, but then it's Cody facing Roman Reigns for WrestleMania. And from the looks of it, it looks like Seth Rollins is going to go against CM Punk. Okay. So, so right now, it's a matter of one thing, in my opinion, right now. If they're going to move to that direction, right? The direction will most likely be, okay, put one of them onto Raw so Raw can be sold to a network for a decent price. Because right now, Raw is the only one that doesn't have a new deal. SmackDown has one already, and NXT has one, but Raw doesn't have one. So it, it has to be some sort of a strategic move from WWE at this point. Punk on Raw, Cody to SmackDown since it seems like Reigns is going to be Cody and Reigns have to finish the story, so to speak, yeah. right? <clears throat> and we've already kind of seen uh, where it looks like I would say they're setting up for Seth Rollins and CM Punk. Yoshi, I want to get your thoughts on uh, th- this clip that uh, has been going what? around the internet, if you will. Uh, it is of Seth Rollins mm. uh, reacting to CM Punk and his his return. So I want to get your thoughts on it because there's there's other there's another superstar too that that reacted in a similar manner but not similar manner. Sound. Here's the sound. (laughs) 
Yeah. Yeah, seems right. Their story will start. So, Seth Rollins didn't seem too happy there. Mm. What, you, what, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, looks like looks like he's happy. Looks like yeah, seems like their story will start. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.